All right, guys, welcome back to the tier list. Today we're doing the Queen's Blade character tier list. And uh, today I have somebody with me who has never been on my channel before, but I've been on their channel. Introduce yourself. My name is uh, Chicken Mashallah, aka Good Grief. I aka have a Electric. Aka Electric. Aka, AKA uh, Kus Kusimik Shalmuta. <laughs> Shalmuta. Aka Kus Kus Oktek. Aka um. What was my? I have some other names. I was, uh, I think, Forever Electric back in the day, and then uh, Serial Box. Uh, Yo, you can yeah. you can at me. I'm uh, Uncle Tony, Pedro, Scushi, Main, Oasis, and God. You know, that's, that's true, me. True, that's true. And, yeah, that's true. Uncle Tony is God. On, uh, that's he's true. God. By, he, someone claims he's God, so like he, we got we got to represent him out here. You know. One saying? one day I'll tell that story on this channel. Anyway. Today we're doing the Queen's Blade character tier list. You might notice that I'm missing some characters here. Uh, I don't give a fuck about Rebellion. I'm not doing Rebellion, sorry. And then, um, we'll I'm also... We don't talk about that show. Yeah, we don't talk about that show. It's not good. And then, um, I didn't include some... I pretty much included all the characters that participated in the Queen's Blade, plus Jizuka, because I deemed her important enough to talk about. You know, characters like Anarista, or the the High Elves from Aldra's, or Alain's Homeland. And like about, Count Vance, I'm like what about Owen. Owen, what about, dude, Owen, I swear I should have put him on here. He told uh, said more than one line. <laughs> what about the the demon that latched onto the girl? I think those two should. Oh, be the two characters. Oh, they're two different characters. But no, nah, they're a joint package. What the? F it's like yeah. Menace and her staff, Satora. They're a joint package. They were like separate at one time. The queen. That's true. Away. She did, and she didn't know what to do. Guess what? The demon lashed onto her, so they were separate at one time. Didn't know each other. Ah. We are starting the tier list. Okay, so first up we have Irie. What is your opinion on Irie? Uh, I give her a tier. Yeah, uh, I'm right there with you. I don't oh. give her S because I don't get how she's like. I don't get how she could be so like giving to a child, but then she sucks fucking adult souls out of their body and kills them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that. <laughs> I don't know. She, I I like her voice. I think out of all of the characters, she probably has my favorite voice. Fucking and out of shit. out of all the three characters or out of the three villains, um, I like her most as a character. There is one that I like more for different reasons, but um, like low key a villain. She's like low key. She starts off as a villain and then she's yeah. not, and then she's she looks like, over right. Lana, the kid. And yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say this right now. There's a lot of characters in here that I like. That are some of my favorites. Are like irrelevant. So we'll get to them when we get to them. But uh, Irie, I I think she's a tier. She's cool. And she, she's, she's drip. Cool. She look, okay. First of all, she looks drip. She's fucking hot as fuck. Yep. Uh, if she's the appropriate age, you know, we're not trying to catch a case here. Dude, um, she's dead. So <laughs> you be ten year old and dead. That's true. Fuck? She's a ghost though. Yeah, it's ten year old ghost. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, but yeah, the, she's just she's drip. She's not the best character, but she's drip. All right. On what board. are your opinions on Queen Aldra? Uh, I was very fascinated at first, but then it kind of climbed downhill. Um, it's climbing downhill. That's my favorite way to describe that. Exactly. It's true. It's true. Climbing downhill. Um, it's just like, it's just. I was like, oh shit, she's the queen. Oh goddamn. And then she had the, she froze people and everything. And then once you get start to get her nowhere and what she, why she does whatever, she just has a fucking demon and she's yeah. trying to find her sister. But bruh, you've been queen for how many years? Like bro, like get a fucking life. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She needs to get a I, life. Um, I, I will say no. she's not the drippiest character in the series, but she definitely has drip, in my yeah, opinion. For sure. Um. I, I liked her as a villain. I liked the final fight. I um, They're at first people. she's cool. I'm 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 gonna put her B, but um, yeah. For me, like e, she kind of fell off. Like yeah, she just fell off big time. But she's I thought cool, she would have more to her other than she has help from some demon fuck. Yeah. But she's she very, is. and she looks cool. I so for that, beat her ass in like five minutes. For she, did. she did. She <laughs> did. <laughs> All right, all lane. Speaking of characters that I really like that are irrelevant as fuck. Tony, you get a hundred for that. Hundred for what? You get a hundred for that. Do you remember her catchphrase? That's her catchphrase. Whatever. 
It is very irrelevant, but that's her catchphrase. Every what? time her, uh, what's the, what's the, the elf looking bitch from mm. the jungle? What? I forget her name. This yeah. one? So she tells her every time, like, you get 85 for that, Bella. <laughs> that's her catchphrase. I always Howdy. thought that was unique, and I like that. Um, but other than that, not really. I, I, I'm, I'm not really an elf fan. I'm not really, like, one of those, um, like, like, jizz over elves. I'm well, sorry. elf hentai is just milf hentai in disguise. But, um, uh, all lane speaks to characters that are irrelevant that I really like. I actually really like all lane. I think she's cool. I think it's cool that she's lived for, like, a thousand years old or whatever. And she trains up all the newbies and whatever. And, uh, yo, I think she's the drippiest character in the series. I don't know what it is. I just really fuck with her design. Wow, damn. Yeah, she I think... Cool, I wouldn't say the drippiest. I think she's the drippiest, in I my opinion. I have in my mind who's the drippiest right now. I know, I know who you're thinking of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know I'm thinking Um, of. while she is one of my favorites, she's just so irrelevant. I think I'm gonna put her in B. How do you feel about that? I feel I, I feel appropriate. I, dude, I would not feel great if I put her in C. You know? Like, she did yeah. nothing wrong. She's just like... I, I like that fight with um the snake girl, obviously. Yeah. I'm not good See, I like that how we realize that she... That's been, she like, enemies gone. for a while. Yeah. That uh, she, she left the gone. village that they, when they were in the uh, jungle. It was kind of... Exactly. She was like, oh, I want to fight whoever's the toughest here. And she was, like, beating people's asses. She mm -hmm. even threw a guy, like... 20 miles that way and then the girls like, i'll beat your ass and yeah. then they just fight and tie and it's like like what, what what can what can you not be impressed about that like i would not never put her in seat here yeah. but uh yeah i think she's a drippist okay catalea the milf d tier really i'm so sorry man but using your kid <laughs> as a fucking shield is just like you're fucked <laughs> i don't care if you have the Actually, the church girl has more dynamist, dynamist tits. I think they're the same. Um, nah, bro. The church girl, she's that's that's ridiculous. But um, she has crack. Big when crack she tits. was first introduced, I actually really liked her. I, I'm gonna put. I would put her in C just because when she was I'm not introduced, lie, I didn't care at the beginning. I was just like, see, all right, forge, I was like, all right, forge Lena sword, bitch. I don't care. Go the ahead, thing that I like it. about her is that uh, she's actually she was a good mother. How like they were like their business was failing and how she just really wanted to like uh give the best for her son and the yeah. whole reason that she's going to the queen is just so she can find her husband and uh then she uses her son as a meat shield <laughs> like, yeah use your kid as a fucking meat shield wh why was he even there i don't even dude she was literally saying like why dude why is a kid even in the fight she's like i gotta use every advantage okay what happens if she doesn't give a fuck if she kills your son, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah. And like you were saying, oh, she's a good mother. Uh, yeah. She yeah, was. Uh, yeah, she was. I guess maybe she. I don't know. Behind closed doors, I don't even know. She probably. I don't know. That's that's fucked. All I know is I laughed my ass off when she used her son as a fucking shield. Yeah. I was like, are you for real, bro? Like, if Madara Uchiha saw Baruto. As a meat shit, he'd kill him in two seconds. Yup, you sure would. <laughs> like, bro, why would you trust, like, someone from the, the witch's clan or whatever to have any mercy on anything that's human? Like, I don't even know why I'm going into this. She's just a shitty person, D tier. <laughs> I don't care if she's hot. <laughs> like, dude, you're using your son as a meat shield and calling it an advantage. Kill yourself. Yeah. Alright, Claudette, uh, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, absolutely, absolutely, dude. Absolute S tier. Red hat, hot as fuck. She literally has, like, the drippiest backstory, and I yeah. like it a lot. Like, there's really nothing else to say. She, Claudette, she, she just has this presence to her that whenever she's on screen, it's like, it, 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 the, the, the intensity, <laughs> it actually gets intense. She just has that aura to her. In a series, like, you're not supposed to take it seriously. She just kind of honestly. She just like throws that like does a 180 and turns it around because she's actually like serious as fuck in everything she, she literally does. Is the plot. <laughs> she, I like how like it was hyped up for the longest time that she was the one who was destined to win the Queen's Blade and she does become the queen in the pee pee poo poo series, but it's yeah, explained why. Uh, but um, Claudette, uh, when she was first introduced in the first episode, how like when Risty was handing over to Elena and they were about to start fighting. 
how Claudette just walked in, summoned Lightning Bolt, and just stopped the fight in between them and said, now you're done. <laughs> Don't hey, do this shit in front of my house. Stop your bullshit. <laughs> stop your bullshit. Let me yeah. Um, um, the only thing I would say that's bullshit about her is uh, this doesn't really do with her, but it's her uh, fight against Risty and the Queen's Blade. How the fuck up? Stupid. Like, dude, the only way she lost because she's fucking her father's there, dude. Like she won. She yeah, had she him. Won. She basically won. She she basically won. She just put him unconscious or whatever. Risty was for like five minutes while he was talking while she was talking to his yeah, her man. father. She got enhanced with uh, mental steroids apparently. Yeah. <laughs> From the fucking the stupid. Way. That was supposed to call that like. Claude at one point. I don't care what fucking Queen yeah, Aldra yeah, says. I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care either. Queen Aldra is like literally. It's like, like a Rengoku the fight against the Upper Demon. It's like that. Rengoku, fight. you know. Basically, basically, he did. He did. In my mind. Uh, let's not talk about Demon Slayer right now. Okay, so yeah, Echidna. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am honestly gonna put her in S tier. She's one S -tier. of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, dude. I like in the beginning. Um. Like, I knew, like, I was like, ah, I kind of like her. And then she literally, like, made Lena her bitch. And I was like, yeah, yep. I, like, I like her a lot now. Uh, I, I also like her design, how she yeah, does her not cover her butt at all. She just has a snake that covers the front, but not the back at all. And uh, one thing is that, like, it's OP. Like, she's so strong. It, like, if she didn't drop out of the Queen's Blade to help Irma, um, the series probably would have had a different ending, because I think she would have you know, I think she would have beat Tom away. I don't know about Risty, but I think she would have had a f good fight against Claude Dad. But like Lena, Tom away, she would honestly kill them. Yeah, she was. She's like literally a master. Like yeah, she's been beating people's asses like three times before I was born. So yep. like, <laughs> like. And I like how it's revealed how she had an apprentice, that being Irma, this character, and how like she left her to be with the and then whatever but um as a character though she's cool she has this charm to her that's like is fucked it, up but it's like that good kind of fucked up like uh like them crazy. girls with like dyed hair and the piercings you know they're red flags but you just yeah. look like uh go signs you know look like green lights exactly bro like, but um her, her voice actor is just like exactly her like this fucking like did you know badass. kidna and malona have the same voice actress Really? Yeah, they do. Uh, it's Lisa Ortiz. One Lisa of my Lisa. favorites. Lisa Lisa. Lisa Lisa, our favorites. Yeah. Okay, so... Elena. Uh, uh, I really kind of weird. It's kind of weird, because, like, you know, incest is kind of, like, I... disgusting. But, like, I feel like in a show like Queen's Blade, it kind of fits. I don't know. It's, like, nothing too out of the ordinary. I but mean, it is she, disgusting. Okay, okay. I have to give her credit. Like, she doesn't particularly say I want to have sex with my sister. Yeah. But, you know, it's there. <laughs> yeah. It's there. It's like, think, what else could you think? I think she is one of the drip characters in the series, though, too, though. So there's she that. She is couple. a badass. But, like, dude, it just, it's just over. That whole sister thing yeah. just, like, put me off, man. You know, I would, this, this is a weird thing. B tier, B tier. Like, I, that's just me. I'd, I'd say, mm, let me think about it. Because, like, the thing. And Lena is that uh Lena never says Elena come on stop it I don't know what you doing that she's more like Elena what are you doing what are you doing come on we're sisters she never really says no and that's what kind of gets me because like does Lena like this does yeah. she care Lena just a, Lena's just a, like she don't like care also I like her personality how she's just a total fucking bitch like That's she don't, true. she do That's not. True. She does have something. In the beginning, it was cringe, but like later on, you like, you see like she's just like this pompous asshole who thinks like, oh, I'm rich, I'm better than you, and everything. Yeah. Like, some sort of personality. I okay. think it was funny oh, how um when they were introducing all the characters in the first episode of the second season, they were just showing all the characters who were competing in their titles or whatever. When they got to Elena, Nanael said, Ooh, Elena, who knows what she's got? Because she did nothing in the first season. I didn't even think she was strong. I just thought she was just whatever. But she is actually very strong. She is strong. She beat but, um, I don't know. She's just really nice to her sisters in the count. That's all she cares about. And, like, I can't respect that because that's all she knows, pretty much, is, like, uh, the, her family. She doesn't care about anything else. And then, uh, 
when uh, Risty and Lena to Elena how Elena was pissed off at her because Lena was like fucking naked and covered in ropes and she's like why did you do this to my sister why is why is she naked why is she ropes like I kind of get that you know I get but I'm gonna put a e tier. Uh, I okay, that's fine. Um, that's oh, whoops! Fine. Uh, not there's, you. there's nothing here I disagree with you on anything right now. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so Irma. Speaking of characters that I really like that are irrelevant, uh, Irma. <laughs> um, first of all, she's drippy as fuck. Honestly, she's the assassin. She used to be the queen's like top girl. And how, um, it, it never really was explained why she left. I mean, it was explained that she wanted to be the queen, but, like, how she left. Because she fought, uh, t way in one of, like, the earlier uh, scenes. She, she never, she never left, remember? She, uh, they got caught basically on camera, you know, the whole thing. Oh, so yeah, yeah, that's sort of what it was. She couldn't go back to her clan, because, like, yeah, they know who you yeah, they, are. They know her face, She'd yeah. That's what it was, okay. So yeah, it's, so she's gonna be the queen, so she doesn't have to worry about that bullshit anymore. Yeah, um, she cool. Um, I really like her design. I think she's drippy as fuck, and um, there's really not much to say about her because she doesn't really do much. Uh, when she fought against all Alain and Noah with Echidna, how it was like a duo battle. How we never saw another one pass that. I thought that was really cool. How um. Oh. How Noah and uh, Elaine are like, how are we going to beat this chick? We can't even lay a finger on her. Not to mention Echidna's right there. And she's not even, like, taking part in this. But if she does, she'll kill us. It's interesting. She's a very interesting character. Um, In the beginning, she was like, okay, oh my god, here come blah blah blah. But, like, as, like, I knew her backstory and she was more involved. She has more of a personality. But yeah. the one thing I will not put her in S tier is just like, kind of at the end, like her cockiness is mm -hmm. just like, way too much. All right, like she's like, I want to be the queen, right? And then the queen's like, just fetch some ninjas after, her, and she's just like, basically like, <laughs> yeah. weak ass fucker. And like you know, her teachers been telling her like, don't fight the queen, you're gonna lose. And fight she, the queen. <laughs> trying to be the Hokage. She's literally Kiba trying to be the Hokage, like. Yeah. And she fails miserably, and I just like, damn, <laughs> what a build up. Of your yeah. Own. To be fair though, the last fight that she was in, she was against Risty, and that battle's kind of stacked though, because Risty is like dummy strong, not to mention she got the buff from the Queen. And so, Claudette ass, so. And Claudette would beat her ass, and uh, <laughs> who else wouldn't? <laughs> compare everything to Claudette. Like, yeah, yeah, compare everything to Claudette. <laughs> I put her in A for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah I just didn't like the ending to her. It was just like anticlimactic, you know, yeah. for all her shit talking. And I but, like how she's like this assassin on the run. Like, at any point in time, she can just like, her life can just go upside down, which it did pretty much because they found her. Yeah, and, and she had that relationship with, uh, you know, her teacher and, you know. Yeah. With Ekipna. The main character, Lena. The uh, first character we ever seen. Lena. I would like to go. <laughs> so Lena started off as this character that like I kind of get. I kind of understood her because she was sheltered her whole life pretty much. How the count never let her go out and like have her own life. She was pretty much destined to uh, stay there in, in Castle Vance and listen to whatever the count had to say. And uh, next. He was going to pass away. He was going to pass on the role to Lena. And uh, it couldn't be Elena. Because, um, she w because Lena was born first. And it couldn't be Claudette. Because Claudette was a bastard. So I get that. And I get that she wants to be strong. But like. The thing that I don't get about her. Is that like. The queen. The queen's blade is not really. What you would do. What I would do. To become strong. It's yeah. kind of, it's just kind of contradictory because she doesn't want to be the queen of her land. She doesn't want to take this countess. Well, yet she's, tr yet she goes to the queen's way to become the queen. Isn't that just that, but like with more responsibility? Like I don't, I don't understand that. But um, like, it's, I get it later on. But it's just I weird. get it, but like someone like Claudette is more 
fit for that. Someone like Elena couldn't do it, so she's more like that. But um, the thing that I do like about Lena a lot is how, how like her drive. She's got the drive. She's got power, and she stays hungry. She devours. Um, and uh, she really does like try her best in the beginning, even though she's weak as fuck. It's kind of weird though, cause I kind of flip flop between being the weakest and being the strongest. Like she beat Claudette, but yet she lost to like Risty, which is kind of weird. And then like she was about to, she didn't even come close to a mirror in the beginning, the elf girl with the big axe. But um, I don't know. She's just. I feel like if she wasn't the main character, I probably wouldn't care. In all honesty, that's just what it comes down to. How do you feel? How I, in the beginning, I was just like, okay, Tick Girl almost killed her. Uh, I really don't know much about her. And then you you find out she wants to run away. She wants to. She her her life's been planned all of her life. She's supposed yeah. to have an arranged marriage with some other guy in a different kingdom. You know the whole shtick. You know of arranged marriages and all that. Yep. And uh, I I like I like what she's doing. You know she's just like I want to live my own life. I want to do my own thing. I want to get out of here. Um. And not doing what daddy tells me to do. Mm-hmm. And that, that's her thing, you know? And I like that in the beginning. I just don't get her power dynamic. Where does she get this power? Where, Like, she was trained for, like, I don't know, like, ten hours. <laughs> and yeah. And she became, like, a god. Dude, she, like, beat like, Malona at the end of the episode. And then, she, like, yeah, she, then she's like, weak again. And then she's strong again, and then she's weak again. Yeah, and I, just... like, I don't get this shit. Like, like. You know, like she, like she's literally a punching bag in mm-hmm. the beginning. She literally punches back until she starts training, and then she like somehow wins. Like even though these people have been trained, like it's just not. Well, to be fair, right. she did get trained by Kidna, and Kidna is dummy strong. For so ten like, hours. I know. <laughs> For ten hours. <laughs> she didn't even go to sleep. <laughs> also, like she's not very drippy in my opinion. I don't know what it is. I just don't. I don't. I don't fuck with her. Very hot, like a cute hot. It's not like. I don't like her hair. <laughs> Usually I like her hair, but like it just looks weird on her. In all honesty. It's a little style fashion. Yeah. You know, like greens in the front and back and yeah. yeah. Um okay, listen like later down the series, right? She just she just beating people's asses and I'm just like and then she wants to be the queen. But her goal, she literally quotes, I wanna get stronger. Yeah. Alright. And then she goes from I want to get stronger to I want to get stronger and hold everyone else's um dreams. It's just like okay. Yeah. It's like it's, and it's... I li- You know what I also like about like the irony in that is that in the beginning episode she's like I don't even like people are criticizing like I don't even know what you're fighting for. Mm-hmm. Like like I literally don't know what you're fighting for. She's like I don't even know what I'm fighting for. Like, like it's the irony that like it just goes hand in hand to the end of the series, and then she just she just beats the queen's ass in like five minutes. It was a good battle, regardless. But like, like man, it's just like not a good main character plot. And, but I like her in general, so I would like to put her in A tier. I agree with that. that, is, that I guess like the only thing holding me back from putting Lena in S tier, like she, um, she she's really cool, but she kind of has bland personality as well like compare yeah. her to elena elena's personality is not bland but she's not as cool as lena so like where do you go in, you know like lena is just i feel like she's like gone from hunter hunter like she's just there you know like the story just revolves around her she's really special by herself it's the world and the other characters that kind of make her who she is yeah. but like with just her by herself though i don't know She's just whatever. But again, I do like her. I do like her too. She ha- like everything she does makes sense in the beginning. Yeah. All right. Uh, is this our third? S- Malona. Yup. 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 <laughs> yup. The first true villain slash hero. <laughs> yup. Dude, she came back at the- bro. She like she came back and tried to help her. Tried to help everybody. Like, I respect. Bruh. She's literally Orochimaru. Like, she died like three times. <laughs> like, literally. She just comes back every time. I know. Regardless if she's frozen in that fucking shit, or she just, like, disintegrates or get exploded, she just comes back. She just comes like, back. She's like, she's like, like she's like Dio, curse of the, uh, Joestar household or whatever, you know? Literally. 
Dio just keeps coming back. Dio just keeps coming back. But, uh, I really like her personality, and I think she's drippy. Dude, when, like, that is such a good intro to the series, how, like, in the first, like, five minutes, you see this girl shoot out of her tits. That is such, like, a, uh, oh, I don't know what series I'm kind of watching right now, you know? It's such, like, a good introduction to, like, what you're going to see for the rest of it. Granted, you don't see much of uh, that for the rest of the series, but you see some, like, other fucked up shit. Like, a kid and a snake going out and biting Lena on the boob and whatever. True. Then you see this girl with uh, the tentacle porn. But, uh, her personality... Oh, right, we'll, we'll get into some fuckery uh, yeah. in a second. But, um, Ma- but Malona, she she really does have this presence to her. That's, like... Sure. Does. Like, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna be a threat for your entire yeah. reason. <laughs> she just, her powers are cool, too. Like, shape shifting is always a cool power. The acidic boobs cool, too. And, uh, she literally is drippy. Like, her does, she's, like, actually dripping, you know? <laughs> kind of weird. Drip. She's got legit drip. And, uh, yeah, I just, I really like her. I feel like she was the perfect villain to start off the series with. Like, she literally- yeah, that like like hands down like motherfuckers like they knew, they like knew. they knew like, and it's so cool how like she comes back like cause like if she would have just been a one off, I still probably would have put her in A tier, but because she came back and like she tried to help them at the end, and how she tried to take on the queen herself before they even queens went started like, that's that's stupid, but that shows you got balls you know. Dude, she's got she got more than balls. She's got the tits. Yeah, she got the acid. <laughs> acid tits. Yeah. Dude, and she like literally came, she came through with the Risty fight because Risty she was like beating Lena's ass so badly, and then she put the the angel's milk on the queen, and the the demon was just like, Nani! yep. And then her control literally lessened, and then she, Lena won because she like, oh my god, I got home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but and literally she just. Saved the series. She literally saved the series. Yeah, and she just has a cool person. You know, she's like this bitch, like Elena, but she's more of like a, like not really an I'm gonna beat your ass kind of bitch, but more of like a how do I describe it? <laughs> well, I want to kill you. <laughs> I want to kill you, kind of bitch. Because like, like I I kind of respect how she was going after Claudette in the beginning because like yeah. Claudette destined to win in the beginning, but um, exactly, yeah. and then she just. Lena instead but yeah so you are an s tier you are an s tier villain uh when we do a villain list eventually we got to put her on here oh yeah (laughs) with madara with madara pain with aizen with uh doflamingo up and with and with perona perona's up there too anyway oh yeah perona so mel (laughs) she's kind of cringe i'm not gonna lie Everything about her is cringe. <laughs> yeah. C or D, I don't care. Um, I it's kind of weird because like Eve Tomoe points out how like um she wants to bring the land of the holy back. She's like this like nun, and how she yeah. she told Tomoe that she doesn't like showing off her body, but yet she's always showing like the the most amount of cleavage out of any yeah. character. By the way. Yeah, her, her boobs the size of her torso. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, and then she poses and even Tomoe points this out she's like you are not pure you are not pure at all like what are you doing this is not like what god should be teaching you you know this is just ridiculous cringe yeah and i don't she know gets, yeah. she gets beat i she does, I, I remember she does this one post where you actually like literally see your camel toe vagina yeah it was just like bruh i don't think i hate her enough to put her in seer because i do think it's kind of funny but it's like that cringe kind of funny and I think D is for characters that I hate, and I do not hate yeah. her. All right. That's fine. She, she's, yeah. That's fine. Next up, we have Menace. And her I feel like Satoru. she can do too much. I don't know why. I, I like, like her design. The Cleopatra drip. Like That's pretty design, cool. Man. I like Cleopatra. Out of, all the, out of the three villains, Malona, Irie, and uh, Menace, she's definitely like the most important one. Yeah, she gets yeah, but her staff, dude. Her staff's cool. <laughs> It's a toro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's like, tor- I like them titties. Yeah. I just, I want to know how, like, you apply for a role of Queen's Play. Do you just go in the, like, recording booth and see who moans the hottest? Like, is that what you do? Like, I just, I just want to know. Like, I want to. 
helicopter for the staff guy. They literally just picked like this pervert ass. Like, yes, I left him. They probably picked the first dude who applied. <laughs> In all honesty. Exactly. <laughs> you hired. <laughs> yeah. Um, a sex offender, you hired. Yeah. Menace, she. I like her more than Melpha. And I can tell you that I like her probably about as much as I like Elena. So I'd probably her put her in beats her. But just like everything after that was just like, man, you're such a side character. Yeah. And then didn't didn't she like set up a tent in uh, in Gynos to like get people to like side with her or whatever, some shit like that? Yeah, she got a whole bunch of people to massage their ass or something. Yeah. <laughs> in a tent. <laughs> and then she lost to um Ellen Elena, right? Was it Elena? I think it was Elena. Yeah, yeah, she beat her ass, and then she just got frozen, and then after that was literally it. Yeah. <laughs> literally it. But she is drip though. She does she got that drip design. Sexy as fuck. All right, so Nanael, the angel, um, she kind of is one of the more important characters in the series. She she does a lot, but she does like nothing too. Yeah. She, it's like weird. Nothing for the first season. She's there when it's important, yeah. but other than that, she's fucking annoying. I like her design. I like how she has okay. one wing that's smaller than the other. Because she got injured or whatever, I don't really remember. But, um... There was no lore in that, sorry. There's no lore in that. that. There's no lore in that. Um, I, like, I liked how she, when she was fighting the queen, the queen was, like, complimenting her, and she's, like, taking it, and, uh, I, Irie's just like, do not fall! Are you stupid? She's literally trying to get on your good side. And she's just gonna betray you. Are you stupid? And she's like, Nah, the queen's a nice woman. I never thought the queen would be so nice or whatever. Yeah. And then she's like, You're you're actually stupid. <laughs> the she queen's is not a good person. You know? She is stupid. Do you know in Rebellion? I know we don't talk about it, but she's the archangel. Now. Yeah, she's the head angel. And... That's fucking crazy. I know. Well, I could not imagine. I could not imagine. B tier. Yeah, I put B tier. That's yeah. that's that's good. I don't care. I think I think she's just like middle of the pack. Even like... if you put it in A, I still would be fine with that. I think I like, like her. She, she was she was like she was with Lena basically the entire time, and she was like like she's like that annoying like character yeah. that's be annoying and stupid. And, um, you know. looking at this list, I'm moving uh, her up. Um. She's better than okay. all characters. Uh, I mean, it's your fucking video. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Fucking consult me. Next up, we have Noah, like the 400 year old Molly. Oh, uh, I don't care. Me neither. Disgusting. Yeah, me neither. Uh, next up, we have Nyx, another irrelevant character okay. that I. But I don't know. No, really... no, no, no. Nyx is S tier. <laughs> Big backstory JK, C tier. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird, because, like, whenever she's with the staff, it seems like she hates this dude, because the staff, like, rapes her, pretty much. Yeah. The, I would say the, pretty much, but no, it actually, like... Legitimate rapes her. Like, he literally puts a tentacle in her mouth, like, 24-7. Yeah. It's kind of weird, kind of odd. And then her little, like, I was a maid, and you weren't, you weren't good to me. Like... It's like, you know, yeah. the, you know the Thanos meme where he's with Scarlet Witch, and he's like, she's like, you took... Everything I have, and Thanos is like, I don't even know who you are. Uh, place Nyx in Scarlet Witch's and shoes, and put Elena in Thanos' shoes. That's a what it is. Because the funniest uh, like thing ever when I heard that she's they were battling, and she's literally like, I ruined your life. I don't even know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was laughing. I was like, that's so true. Yeah. And then, like, when she when she's with the staff, it makes it seem like she hates it. But like, when they got separated, she's like, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to What am I supposed to do without him? He's like, why would you want that? She's you know? really Kanye saying, oh, what am I going to do with all that power? Yeah. She's literally, like, she's literally, like, baby, you're making it harder, faster, stronger. Whenever she has the staff around. Yeah. She bitches, though. Yeah. I don't know. Nick's just like... Yeah. Fuck. Next up, we might have in a controversial opinion. We have Rusty. A tier. Yeah. I was thinking maybe like high B. Oh, you have a different... High B? Really? 
See, cause you know like what? I actually agree with you. You know what? Now I'm thinking about. It. I actually agree with you. I was thinking in the beginning, but now I'm like, bro, you really like got controlled for like ten episodes straight. Like, give me a see. Fuck. I respect her motives. I think out of all of the characters, her and Tomaway, I think have the best reason to do the Queen's Blade, yes. because she is yeah. like she. What Risty does is not good, but she does it for the right reasons. You know. Yeah. Yes. Which I respect that. And uh, I like how she was. She literally was about to drop out of the Queen's Blade because she heard that the orphanage was like burnt down or whatever. She literally was about to drop everything she was doing and just go there. She's like, I don't care about this shit. I care about my people. You know, that's actually kind of noble when you think about it, because caring person she, she is. She took those kids. Yeah. I she... mean, she went to the Queen's Blade just for them, so she could fix up the land because mm -hmm. the Queen is the ruler of all, basically. Yeah. Well, Count Vance kind of fucked up that land, too, because didn't she say that? Didn't she say Count, Count Vance? Vance is a piece of shit. Um, yeah. We don't have him in his tier list because he's, like, a shitty dictator. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, like, her, her personality, I just, I don't care for. And then in the second season, she has, like, yeah. no personality because she's it. confirmed by the like, queen. I think it like this. Like, she, she grew up in a world where you had to be tough. Mm -hmm. And she has to be that tough, reliable person, which she was in the beginning, remember? She saved Lena's life. She literally told her, like, you're literally, like, weak as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm strong. And she literally beat ass, and she steals and shit for her kids. She's like a, like, and then, like, what throws me off later on is that she gets controlled in her negative emotions. Like, she literally, it's like the plot to Star Wars. She literally, like, turns to the dark side for 10 episodes mm -hmm. straight like it's so like i thought that was so dumb because she's like one of the most honorable people like real people like that's what she's, i liked about Risty. she's like, one of the ones with the more noble goals you know she has a realistic, reason like, she actually has a reason to be competing is respectable you know yeah. and she can't be this girly girl you know, like how Lena and, you know, Elena grow up, you know, mm -hmm. rich and powerful, you know? She, it's she grew like, up in poverty. She's literally Revy from Black Lagoon for a while. and then... Literally. She literally is. She literally is. And then she gets, like, turned to the dark side. Like, she's Darth Vader. Like, like come on. Like, it took you ten episodes for, in front of Lena with the milk to be like, Oh my god, I'm being yep. controlled. I need to stop. Also, I want to talk about the milk. You ever realize how much it looks like um, <laughs> I don't think milk is supposed <laughs> to be that thick. <laughs> no, dude, you can't say cum. That's whipping cream. It's yeah. very heavy whipping cream, bro. Swear, bro. But Risty, like, she she fell off. Like, she fell just off. fell off. I thought that was so out of character. Like, okay, everyone has a dark side, obviously. Yeah. But, bro, you don't I... turn to the dark side for, like... Like, bro, like, I would have liked her to. I would have liked to have seen her fight as Risty, because we yeah, really yeah. don't see her fight as Risty that often. No, which, we didn't. At and all. she's like really strong. Like she fought she Claudette really... in the first episode, and she actually managed to get away from Claudette. Yeah, exactly. Which, like, like that's impressive. That but... is like, she just fell off, and yeah, I, she just it's, fell it's off. sad to see. It's sad to see that she was used as a plot punching bag, mm -hmm. literally. For, like, in, in, like, a whole, like, oh, my God, I'm versus my friend. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Good. And this S tier? You can't even see your head. <laughs> it's cropped off. I'm sorry. I have to disagree with you, Nick. Really? I'm very sorry. Hey, I, here's, here's my thing, man. I know that thing at the end was very cool, but, like, I think about it all. And, like, the beginning just made no sense why she was even, like, like there to be. She's not even part of the land. She's some ninja nigga. And then, like, she's cool. Her personality's cool and all. It's just, like, it S-tier-wise, it doesn't belong there for me. And, like, really? in the end. And also, think about it. It's stupid, okay? She, and by the way, her best friend or whatever, it didn't even fucking win it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I just want to let you know that, like, it, her sacrifice didn't mean shit. Nope. Um, also, I, I asked, the, I begged the question, why do you have to sacrifice to teach a simple lesson of, oh, uh, battle the person in front of you like you're 100% have everything on the line? Why what? do I need, why does she need to die for that? Well, That's, 
That is kind of weird. It's kind of weird that she that up. Because, like, she... I feel like she would not have fought Lena. Because, like, that's the thing, though, is that she fought Elena. And then, like, she would have fight her because Lena is her sister. And, you know, she's friends with Lena. So, imagine the rules were reversed, alright? Let's imagine that she fought Lena in that second round and not Elena. Do you think she would have won? Like, do you think she would have actually tried 100%? Do you think she would have, like, gone all out against Lena, this person that she actually cares for? I mean, if, if she saw, like, literally, like, what, what her sisters die in front of her and her whole built village basically burned down, I think she should be trying to begin with. I, I don't know where she gets to... I have to be afraid. I have to yeah. go easy in a competition where I have to save my land. Like, yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like... Well, that's like, the thing, though. She hates fighting. She really does, even though she's really good at it. She doesn't, like, she doesn't want to have to do it. But she has to, because, well... It's about Tomoe, since we're talking about her while doing Shizuka. Uh, okay, Tomoe, like, you're so, like... Man, I like you so much, but everything that happens... I wouldn't even... Like, bro, maybe, like, first season up this mid-second season is S-tier. It's just, like... She turned to the dark side and had nothing to show for it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I... I, uh, I do think uh, that um, she had, like, the most noble goal to be... Yeah, fair. in the beginning, oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? S or A, bro. I don't care. I would put her in S just because, like, I like her design. She's different from every other character. She doesn't like showing cleavage. She doesn't like being this, like, flamboyant, like, uh, I'm gonna put my in your face kind of character you know I and like i respect that they, I, I do like how the show they got like people from different regions they're like oh she's from the east and then mm -hmm. like wow the westerner is like i like that you know it's just like there's more there's more to queen's blade than it just being in one fucking place you know yeah. like, um, and like when she was like traveling like uh she ended up in the desert with Lena against echidna it's just like it's so weird how they kind of met her halfway there like kind of, it's yeah. like kind of weird, but um, I don't know yeah. her personality, her nobility, her goals. It all makes sense to me, cause like, she was supposed to become the queen to save Hinoto, and then there was supposed to be like an entourage of like these like ten women who were supposed to entourage her there, that uh, they could like deliver her safe, and then um, they all got capped real quick by the Koma Ninja. Coma assassins, they flip flop back and forth on the name. I don't care. Yeah, it's a, it's some poo poo pee pee ninja. Yeah, some poo poo pee pee. <laughs> but um, oh, no. and then like in the second season when she's actually like actually fighting, it's interesting because it it really does baffle me how like she's so nice. Like she's genuinely a good person. That's the, she's one of like the few she's characters like, in this. Generally nice. She's genuinely a good person. She doesn't want to have to fight people. She doesn't want to have to, like, kill people if she doesn't have to. Like, Shizuka took the fattest L so she can get the W and didn't get the W back. But, um... I don't know why she had to take that much of an L. Just <laughs> I know. A simple lesson of, like, just because they're your friend doesn't mean you have to go easy on them. Mm -hmm. I, it... I feel like you learned that as, like, a five-year-old, like... I don't know, ten year old. It's like, it's like it's like oh. NBA players or like fo <laughs> like sports players in general. It's like best friend off the court. On the court, they're sworn enemies. You know. Also, I don't I don't believe that the sworn enemy shit either. It's just like have a good game, have fun, oh. going against each other. You know, like I I don't know, like even in Queen's Blade, you don't have to kill the person. You just have yeah, to you don't just have to beat him. Up. Like like I I don't like that's where like it just doesn't make like realistic sense like. Bro, I would never give my life to do some stupid shit like that. <laughs> like, like I don't. Know. It was like, like it was a cool scene and all. One of my um, favorite um, scenes in all of anime, in all honesty, because it, it just was, comes it out was, of nowhere. It does come out of nowhere, but like at the same time, like why it came out of nowhere is the reason why I have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Next up, we have Emir. Oh, um, I don't care. Yeah, I'm C tier. <laughs> I. She actually is, like, important in Rebels, but, like, at the same time, not really. Well, dude, she crafted Evan Evandale. Is that the sword's name? In the second sword? Yeah, I think so. Evan, some shit like that. Um, yeah. I don't know. She's she's whatever. She's the... Uh, yeah, she's Steel just... Steel Princess? Like, 
Like, if she wasn't in the series, I kind of wouldn't, like, notice. And she's, like, another definition of, like, 300-year-old Lolly. So, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but like I kind of do like her personality, though. Like, she's just this, like, this pompous ass, like, my weapons are better than yours, and, like, they kind of are. So it kind of makes sense, you know? But, um... <laughs> a greedy little dwarf. Girl. Yeah. It's like it, <laughs> the dwarfs in the mine when you're playing, like, Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. I don't know. But like I said, bro, if she wasn't in the series, like, if I never knew of her existence, I would probably never wanted her existence. To yeah. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would, just... I would not be like, you know what? We need a very greedy dwar a dwarf, uh, 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 what, Smith, or what is it? Um, what are they called? Smith? Smith? Blacksmiths? Yeah. We, we need a, a greedy dwarf blacksmith character in this series. Like, no. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Do you see any changes that you want to make to this list? Um. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wanna here. I wanna put Tom away down. I wanna put. Ri oh no no no. She stayed. I wanna move. I don't wanna like order these, but like I think Lena's like top. Maybe like low S. Cause like I oh, yeah, her, I but like that. that's true. I don't know. Do we want to order the, the tiers? No, no. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. We we said what we said. Um, All right, so we're gonna move no one here. That's our list. <laughs> no, she stays. I'm getting off this call. <laughs> <laughs> you can have fun with this tier list by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't uh, care about menace. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is sexy though, but I don't know. She is sexy. Much. Um Uh I kinda wanna move Irie up, because I like Irie a lot. Test here. She does have she like really does have this presence oh. to her too. I like how she uh she actually became a person. I like how at the end when she came back, um Catalea and Long were like Oh wow, I love you or whatever. Kind of cool how this character that like was hated by everybody, just like a villain, but just like, kind of came back. I like here's the thing. Why did she turn to the good side? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you saw a kid. <laughs> yeah. You've literally killed hundreds of people. Like yeah. you're literally a wraith, sucking out their essence and soul and killing people, and then you, you just like get in this battle. Like and then and then all of a sudden you don't like kill you don't like killing like little kids like to be this was like in I, front of the queen though, so that's like some traumatic that, shit right there too. But that too, then do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then do it. The mom is in D tier because she's a fuck. Okay, like okay, and the opposite of this it should be like the villain's supposed to be the villain, but apparently like. All right, that's the list, everybody. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. I I wouldn't like the one girl in A either, but that's fine if she's in A because she. What was girl? Good. This one. Yeah. I like her. I know. You know what? I'll put her above Risty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Risty should be at the end. I don't know why you put Risty. <laughs> in the this is where we're fucking up now. Yeah. There you go. There you go. The fall from grace, man. If that ending shit didn't happen, let's just say she just. I don't know, lost to Lena in this, like, awesome fight. She'd be F tier. Yeah. I just, I really wish we would have seen her, like, actually fight. You know, as Risty. Yeah, exactly. The writers fucked off that big time. Like, why yeah. couldn't they take... Oh, bro. What if they took, um, Elaine? What if they took her sister it, as, like, it, the villain? Dude, what if they so good. What if they actually took Claude? Because Claudette was, oh, like, this... Oh, bro. It's like this, like menace. This, like you gotta That'd like actually be good. That yeah. actually be good. But Man, we're writing our own Queen Blade. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Queen's Blade. What if? What if? The series... All right. Is that it? <laughs> like Queen's Blade was supposed to be written. How Queen's Blade was supposed to be written. Tomoe I... beat Lena and won the Queen's Blade. Uh, whoever, like, like you know, the director wrote whatever Queen's Blade. I need to send them a very lengthy email. Very lengthy. You can probably find them on at somewhere. Least three, at, at least three sentences. At least. 
at least three like, paragraphs. Like, bro, no one will ever catch me reading a fucking book less than writing a book. Trust me. Yeah. On God. Is that the list? Are we good? That's the list, yep. That's the list. Alright, if you disagree, I don't care. Um, list. So, that's it. Peace, Kusimic, all that good stuff. Any final words? Uh, I want to let everyone know that, um, Uncle Tony, he has, um, uh, the guy you're viewing the channel on, Mr. Uncle Tony, he has a go to the uh, actual Uncle Tony's channel and tell him you're you're a poser. Yeah, go to Uncle Tony's garage and tell him you want to be Uncle so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and leave a link to my channel. Yeah, Dude, that... leave a link. Dude, he's such a poser. Like, he, you know, he has this good YouTube channel and shit, but, like, this is the original Uncle Tony. Who cares yeah. about cars? Like, I drive a and I don't care, you know? Like, bro, we invented planes to get rid of cars. Yeah, we cars. have we have boats. We have helicopters. Bro, we, bro, we even have, like, rockets and shit. NASA or some shit. Yeah. Was the space, <laughs> the moon landing fake? Question mark? Probably. <laughs> we care? No. No. <laughs> Do I look like a boomer? <laughs> no. So true. I'm ending the video. Say your final words. All right. Chicken, mashallah. Peace.